What's up, y'all? In this video, I'll be going over how I made a beat with Jaden Smith's Icon Acapella. Let's go ahead and listen to the snippet. All right, so the story of this beat pretty much goes one day, I just felt like making a beat with the Icon vocals. What I did is I went over to iTunes and I bought the song, you know, if you're gonna at least steal somebody's vocals, at least support them, you know? After buying it, then I went ahead and then put it into RX7, extracted the vocals out from the entire song and got to work. Pretty much all I wanted was the chord section, so like, what you call an Icon living, and I thought I could make a beat off of that. So let's go ahead and take a listen to where I chopped up. What you call an Icon living, living? Now I'll bring it down nine semitones. What you call yeah. icon living, living. So you can see it's very bottom heavy, and then it's not very aggressive. I wanted it aggressive as well. So use an EQ, EQ'd it out. What you call icon living, living. A little bit more thinner, a little bit more clear. And then I use my favorite distortion plugin, uh, Devil Lock. So let's take a listen to that. What you call icon living, living. See, a lot more aggressive, a lot more bite. So I've been messing around with loose more lately than actually playing out the sounds. So let's see what I got. I went into FNZ's sample pack, copped it from Splice, and then I went ahead and got this sample here. And that to me was a little bit too high pitched, so I pulled it in, warped it, and then dropped it. So now we got this. That's a bounce right there. And to me, it sounded pretty good, so I actually didn't affected too much later than that. I didn't chop it or anything. I just kind of left it where it's at. I got this drum loop. So together. And that's pretty much the beat. Nah, I'm just messing with you guys. So let's go ahead and take a look at the drums. So what we got here is drum sounds off of FNC's pack. Um, kicks, snares, and then all played out. This is what it sounds like. At the high ends. You can see I kind of got like this pitching effect on the hi hats. So add the hi hats to its own track. If you stick with the drum mag, you can only play the individual pitch. You gotta like copy and paste and transpose them. Well, if you put them on a simpler on their own track, you can actually pitch them. So what I did, as you can see, is add some on top, add some on bottom, so now you get this crazy effect. There we go. After that, got an 808 from the FNZ pack. Let's hear what it sounds like. Pretty good 808, but I want it to be beefier. So I added sound to his decapitator, and now you got this. Ooh. Now it's that beef. All right, so now pretty much what you got is uh, the first verse. So let's go ahead and play that together. So the lyrics pretty much go so due to that, I kind of wanted to make it uh, have like a grand switch up, kind of like an orchestral grand kind of thing, you know, like you're really an icon, you get me? So what I did is I break into this orchestral section and then I played this piano out. So I played the chords out on the actual piano and then in the MIDI I fixed them, I added a couple more notes that could sound nice and full. So I originally started out with this piano in contact, so Alicia Key piano. So let's go ahead and listen to that.
it sounds nice, but I want a little bit more aggressiveness. I want to do a little bit more bite, you know? So like, we really icons out here. So I added this other piano, same exact notes. We pretty much layered them together. Uh, it's called a giant in contact. So let's take a listen to that together now. It's a little bit more in your face. And pretty much all that does is add like an attack, look a little bit more by it. So let's just play it by itself. So it's a little bit more punchy. So you can see I mixed it in there. And then again, this is a production track. So I usually make a whole production file, do all my arrangement, do all that. Once I'm done with that, move it to the mixing file. So you can tell there's a lot of distortion going on. Everything's not really mixed in well. Um, this is where I'm just in that flow state and I'm just making the beat out, trying to turn it out, I'm having some fun. And then we could do all the technical stuff later. Once I had the piano down, I felt like I had to add some strings. So I definitely knew I needed some kind of lead. Um, so I added some strings. So what I added is session strings from Contact. Contact's a pretty good damn library. I bought this back like five years ago. So I, don't, I think it was complete nine. I think there's like a complete 12 or 13 now, uh, but it serves me well all these years. Go ahead and take a listen to the official section. very grand again trying to push forward what it means to really be an icon right and uh, we'll split now question is how do i transition from the circus sounding beat or to the crestro beat and make make sense of it. Me, I thought I had to add like an aggressive lead, so that's what I did. Sounds right to me, but let's see what you think. So I add those two together, it's kind of like ear candy on one side, and it's kind of this aggressiveness uh, that's going in there to let you know, hey, there's something aggressive that's about to come in. So let's listen to the transition. <laughs> trying to push her is like what do you call an icon living when i think of icon i think aggressiveness i think i'm going all out let's go baby kind of think about that image and try to portray it here um, that's why you can kind of see a call response so like what you call an icon living is like dun, 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 dun. listen to that again And that's pretty much the beat. Um, I was stuck on that beat for a while because you had like the circus sounding thing on one side, sounded good all together. And I was like, I need to go grand with it. How do I switch it up? It took me a while to figure out the switch up. The transition alone took me like two, three hours trying different sounds, trying different melodies. But hey, that's what it's about, man. It's about enjoying the process. So I had a lot of fun with this one. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.